Skyrim offers a lot of options for combat, from bows and daggers to swords and even magic, but there's something so satisfying about swinging a super huge sword around. <laughs> So today on Game Rant, we're talking about the 9 best two-handed weapons in Skyrim. Up first, it's Aegisbane. This powerful warhammer can be found on Elaine's body in the ruins of Raldbathar. It's worth tracking down though because it hits hard, with both high base strength and frost damage to health and stamina. Players wanting a warhammer will be well served by this powerful weapon. Next we have the Woodsman's Friend. This axe is easy to miss as it's laying with its owner southwest of the Conjurer's Altar. Despite boasting a strong attack stat, the weapon takes too long to hit enemies, unfortunately making it a bit of an impractical axe to use in combat. Switching to swords we have the Silver Greatsword. Though it may seem like a basic sword, it's actually quite capable. Plus, these swords are easy to track down since they're the go-to weapons for members of the Silver Hand. With an innate ability to increase damage against the undead, players can also add their own enchantments to stack the effect, making this a powerful option especially against undead enemies. Looks are also deceiving with the Skyforge Steel Greatsword. Available at the Skyforge in Whiterun, this sword can be a great option for early in a playthrough. The sword boasts a pretty impressive attack stat for being purchasable with gold, so it's worth investing in one. And if players don't need it later, they can always sell it guilt-free, since you can always buy another one whenever you'd like. Up next, it's the Drainblood Battle Axe. This special battle axe is a rare Nordic ghost weapon, making it pretty special on its own. And it has an ability to absorb health, making it pretty useful. That said, you can only get one once in the game, during the quest The Staff of Magnus, so make sure to grab one while you can. Next is another axe, the Hedgeman's Axe. This axe is the longest weapon in the game, making it pretty unique despite its low attack stat. While not always a practical combat option, it makes for some fun gameplay and roleplaying. To get it, you'll need to take it from Atar after the execution in Solitude, whether that's by stealing or even killing him if need be. Our last axe is Wuthrod. This legendary axe of the champions is the perfect weapon for an elf slayer. Boasting a high attack stat and a special ability making it super effective against elves, this axe is a no-brainer. You'll obtain and use this axe during the Glory of the Dead quest, and if you want to make it even more powerful, you can always add some extra enchantments. Up next we have Volendrung. This ornate warhammer is available from the quest The Cursed Tribe, and it's worth obtaining. Boasting a high attack stat and an ability that absorbs stamina from an opponent, Volendrong makes a great option for a player who likes two-handed weapons. And our final weapon, the Longhammer. On the surface, this orcish warhammer doesn't look special, but it swings far faster, dealing more damage per second than any other warhammer in the game. To get this hammer, players will need to explore the Liar's Retreat and find Rod. After that, well, we'll leave the rest a surprise. And that's our list of the best two-handed weapons in Skyrim. With such an extensive amount of two-handed options in the game, players are sure to find a weapon that perfectly fits their playstyle. Thanks for watching Game Rant, and we'll see you next time.